toys and dolls. <laughs> it's just so nice to be in the great outdoors. The weather today is just perfect. Oh, where's Sunny and Violet? I thought they were supposed to join us on this camping trip. Is it a good idea though? Because it is their first time camping, so I am a little nervous to be responsible for them. Yeah, I told them that you invited me to go camping since your parents got you a camper car for your birthday. And Violet was really excited when she heard you had a camper car because she wants to film a Vi-Life vlog episode of her camping even though she's never camped before. And you know, Sunny always wants to go everywhere that Violet goes, so they asked if they could come along and since they were so excited, I couldn't say no. I'm sure it would be fine though, we could just teach them everything everything that they need to know. I'm just worried they're not gonna really like camping cause you know, Violet, she's kinda a little high maintenance. And Sunny, uh, maybe Sunny will like camping, but she's a bit clumsy, so hopefully she doesn't fall and hurt herself or something. I'm sure it should be fine. Well, I hope so. So when are they coming? Is this where we are going to be camping? Wow! Hi my lovely Vi Hives! Welcome back to The Vi Life! Today I'm going to be going camping for the first time with my besties! It is so nice out here you guys! You guys have to check out nature! Just look at that! Oh, look at all of the trees! Oh my gosh! Is that what I think it is? There's a boat you guys! Am I going to go boating later? You guys are gonna have to come back to the next episode of The Vi Life to find out. Hashtag The Vi Life. I think this boat is destiny because it's purple. And you know purple is my rainbow color. Give this video a like if you want to see me go boating. Oh, and here are my besties. This is Ruby and over there is Jade. And behind them must be the camper car. It's so cute. It has little ears. It's a kitty. Aww. So cute, so cute you guys, but between you and I, I think the camper car is a little smaller than what I thought it'd be. I hope it's more spacious inside because it looks a little small from out here. But that's our little secret. Don't tell Ruby I said this. Hi guys, hi Jade, hi Ruby, I'm here ready to go camping. Oh, hi Violet. Hi Violet. Welcome to your first time camping. Where's Sunny? Isn't Sunny coming? Yeah, I thought Sunny was coming too because she normally wants to go everywhere you go. Oh, she's here. She's coming. I got a little excited so I kind of ran a little bit ahead. Oh, can you film a little something something for the Vi Life? Oh, uh, hi, my name is Ruby. My family really loves the great outdoors and we go camping every summer. So this is my kitty camper car. That was so awesome! You were so natural, Ruby! Now it's your turn, Jade! Can you say something to the Vi Hives too? Anything you want! Have you gone camping before? Do you like camping? What is your favorite part about camping? Um, uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I like camping too. But my family also goes camping every year or so. And we we also love the great outdoors. Oh, what was the other question? Uh. Oh, don't worry. Don't be nervous. You're doing great. Now, tell the Vi Hives, what's your favorite thing to do when you're camping? Um, uh, my favorite thing? Um, oh, I guess, why can't I think of anything at the top of my head right now? I, I guess I like to make campfires and tell stories around the campfire, uh, roasting marshmallows around the campfire, or I kind of like fishing too. <sighs> there you guys are! <sighs> so tired! I have to carry the luggage! <sighs> And drag it all the way here. Oh, no. Hi guys, Ruby, Jade. Oh, is that the camper car? It is so cute. It even has ears like a kitty. Ooh, happy emoji. Oh wow, Sunny, that's a really big luggage for just a weekend camping trip. Do you really need a luggage that big? What do you even have in there? Oh no, this is Violet. The only thing I have in there is a jacket. Most of the stuff in here are Violet. She packed a lot of stuff. I only brought one outfit and I'm wearing it. Thanks for 
carrying the luggage over here, Sunny. I got so many good clips. I'm going to show it to you later, okay? I'm getting so many comments from subscribers to release the next episode. I think this video is going to be a big hit. And this is the first time Sunny and I are going camping too. We've never camped before. And since I'm going to be filming this trip for the Vi Life, I brought a lot of cute outfits. You know, because I want to look cute while camping. What? How many outfits did you bring? I've never heard of anyone who wants to go camping looking cute. I don't think those two things go together. Most people don't dress up when they're camping. And that suitcase takes so much space. Uh -oh. Hopefully it'll fit somewhere in my camper car. Violet told me to look cute too, so I wore this really cute dress that I bought. I went to the mall yesterday and I bought this dress specifically for this camping trip. Just to look cute, because that's what Violet said. To dress up. Oh man, um, the dress is really pretty and all sunny, but you look like you're going to prom more than you're going camping. I don't think that's an appropriate outfit. This dress is so cute, Sunny! Oh my god, the Vi Hives are going to love it when they see it later. I spent all morning packing, so my outfit isn't as cute, but that's okay. I can go change later. But it's still an okay outfit. Not as cute as yours, Sunny, but I think this outfit is cute too. But wait till you guys see what is in my suitcase. The other outfits are so adorable. We're gonna look so cute in the next Vi Life episode of us on a camping trip. Yeah, high five, yeah! Um, I really hate to break the bad news to you guys, but if you guys wear really nice fancy clothes to go camping, you might ruin your clothes. Most people don't wear a fancy dress to go camping. Um, it might get ruined. It will probably, probably, most likely, get ruined. Usually, people just wear like comfy clothes, like this. I just wore shorts and a t-shirt. You know, you want to be comfortable when you're camping because you're going to be doing a lot of outdoor activities and there is a lot of mud, bugs, you might fall down. Hmm, good point. But I have other outfits in my luggage, so I'm not that worried. Other outfits? What's in your luggage? Can I see what other outfits you have? Maybe if you have another outfit that's better than the one you're wearing, you could go change. Okay, let me show you. Ta-da! I brought a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at all of those pretty clothes. I can't wait to see them. Show me, show me. Happy emoji. Excited emoji. What did you bring, Violet? Well, for starters, I brought two more dresses. And they're both my favorite color, purple. This one is so cute. But this one is so shimmery. I can't decide which one I'm going to wear. Maybe I'll wear both. <gasps> they're so pretty! One has polka dots, and you know how much I love polka dots, but the other one has shimmers. It's so shiny, and you know how much I love shimmers. Wait till you see this dress. Isn't it so elegant? I borrowed this from Bella. It's kind of her color, but I love pink too. And just look at it. Isn't this just so elegant, like classy? So elegant! Classy! Happy emoji! Maybe we can have like a tea party! Oh, that would be fun! A tea party while camping? Yeah? Yeah? Oh man, you guys are hopeless. These outfits are horrible for camping. Wait till you see this jacket. Sorry. Fur in my mouth. I got it on sale at an auction. It is a vintage. Isn't this just so pretty? Uh -oh. And in case it gets cold at night, this jacket will definitely keep me warm. Oh, that jacket looks so warm. Oh, I can just imagine being wrapped around in it <sighs> like a blanket. That's so cute, fashionable, and warm. I love it. Not only that, I also packed a bunch of shoes. <laughs> Aren't these just so pretty? Ah, oh, they are so elegant and cute. Those shoes are what dreams are made of. So pretty. You have to let me borrow those shoes sometimes, Violet. Wait, I have more. Wait till you see this shoe. These heels are gorgeous. Oh. When I first laid eyes on these shoes, I just knew I had to get them. They look like fairy shoes with the bow tie and everything. And I would look like a fairy in the forest wearing this. 
Those shoes would look so perfect with the shimmery dress. You really would look like a fairy in the forest. Ah! Happy excited emoji! Wait, there's more. Check this out. These heels are adorable, aren't they? And again, so elegant and classy. Maybe we could have a tea party in the forest. Wouldn't that be fun? Do, do people have tea parties when they go camping? Because I think that's a great idea. Uh, Jade, are you sure it was a good idea to have Violet and Sunny join us on this camping trip? I am seriously regretting my life's decision right now. Uh, I guess we're going to have to teach them a lot more than I thought we would. Do you guys like these shoes, huh? Aren't they pretty? I actually borrowed them from Bella. She was so nice to lend me these shoes. Oh, Bella! She's so nice! I love Bella! Oh, love emoji! I love those shoes! They are so classy and elegant! Seriously, Sunny, are you Violet's personal cheerleader or something? These shoes and these outfits are ridiculous, you guys! You can't wear dresses when you go camping! You're just going to ruin them! That would be a crime against fashion to ruin beautiful dresses! Nobody wears dresses, you guys, when they go camping! I'm telling you, you're making a big mistake! You want to dress comfortably. And you only packed heels? It's going to be really hard for you to walk around in heels in the woods. You're definitely going to ruin your shoes and your heels if you wear heels in the woods. <gasps> That's a crime against heels. Why do I have the feeling that the fashion police is going to be after us? Well, since we're all the way here and we're pretty far from home, it's too late to turn back time now. I guess you guys are going to have to wear the outfits and the shoes you brought. Hopefully you won't ruin them. Yep, I guess you can't do anything about spilled milk. Yep, at this point, the show must go on. Ah, you guys are worrying too much. I think it should be just fine. Hey, since we're already here, give us a tour of your camper car. Oh, right. Okay, let me show you what's inside. Come inside with me. Here is the shower. There's even hot water and everything, so if you want to take a nice warm shower at night, you can. Ah, there's a shower in the camper car? That's amazing! I am so glad that there is a shower in the camp car. I was worried that there wouldn't be a place to shower because I always shower before I go to bed. This is perfect. I brought some shoes as well and I hung some pretty lights around inside the camp car. Uh, there's a big window so we can look outside. There's also a cute kitty pillow. And we have a pull-out bed, super comfy. And there's a little chair for anyone who wants to sit and a pull-out table as well. Ooh. Wow, the lights are so pretty! It's so elegant inside and so cute and very cozy! Smiling emoji! It makes me happy looking at the interiors of this camper car. Yeah, I've been asking my folks to buy me this car for years and they finally did for my birthday. If you guys want to see that video, then give this video a like. Isn't it so cozy in here? I love looking out the window from in here. Okay, next let me show you guys the kitchen. Ta-da! We can also make a campfire and cook our food over a campfire, but it's nice to have a kitchen in case it gets cold or it rains, then we can cook in the kitchen. Wow, it's an indoor-outdoor kitchen! That's amazing! <gasps> Shocking emoji! Ruby already gave me a tour of the camper car, so I don't need to go with you guys. I'll put the luggage inside. So up here, we have a microwave, and then a coffee maker, a toaster, and we also have some spoons and stuff. Excited emoji! Running emoji! Super excited emoji! This kitchen is so cute! There's everything that we need in here! Surprise emoji! Shock emoji! Excited emoji! Mind blown emoji! And there's the stove top. There's three stove tops to cook on. There's even a hood fan that you can turn on as well. And if you guys want to bake anything, there's even an oven too. An indoor outdoor kitchen. This is so cool. The Vi Hives are going to be so excited when I show them this kitchen. I think I'll film a camper tour for my subscribers later. They're just gonna love your camper, Ruby. And there are a lot of drawers, so you can open the drawers and grab stuff. There's a window in the kitchen. You can cook with the window open or close. 
Are you guys almost done the tour already? I'm done showing them the kitchen, but now I gotta go show them the outdoor bed. Violet, Violet! I'm gonna close the window and then scream and then see if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Hmm? Violet! I can barely hear what you're saying. Wow, the sound system is amazing. I think you're screaming. You look like you're screaming. Uh, but I can't really make out what you're saying. And here we have the outdoor bed where you guys can sleep on tonight. It's very comfy up here. During the summer when I go camping with my family, I love sleeping up here underneath the stars. Wow, that's amazing! That's where I'll be sleeping. Sunny, you can sleep with me outdoors under the stars and then we can film a Vi Life episode. That would be so cool. I am sure the Vi Hives are going to love it. <gasps> that does sound a lot of fun. I can't wait. Happy emoji. I've never gone camping, so I've never slept outside before. I'm going to be filming and vlogging all of this. I'm going to get so many likes and so many new subscribers from this camping trip. What is that? Oh, check it out. It's a bird. Nature is so cool. Let me capture this for you guys. The bird is literally just flying right in front of me. Do you guys see that? Look, it's flying. Bye, hives. Do you guys see the bird? I don't know what kind of bird this is, but the bird is really pretty. If you guys know what kind of bird this is, leave me a comment down below. Camping is so much fun. I am literally one with nature. Look, it's a squirrel. Oh, so cute. Bye, hives. Do you guys see this cute squirrel? Maybe I can pet him. He looks friendly. I think it's a he. Can I pet him? Here, squirrel, 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 squirrel. Here, let me. Ah! Oh my gosh. Wow, that was a close one. I thought he looked friendly and cute and everything, but when I tried to go pet him, he almost bit me. That was a really close call. <gasps> that cute squirrel over there almost bit Violet. So scary. A scary emoji. That's so cute. Smile emoji. Blushing emoji. How could a cute squirrel like that be so vicious? Note to self, do not try to touch any squirrels because squirrels do bite. So let me get a good look at the culprit. Bye, Hives. This is the squirrel that almost bit me. Oh my gosh, Violet, that was a close call. Let's um try not to touch any wild animals because it's very dangerous. Uh, please don't touch any more squirrels. Yes, the animals here, this is their space. This is their home. And we're in their territory. We have to respect their home and also respect them. Yeah, just think about it. You wouldn't like it if random strangers just came up to you and tried to pet you or touch you, right? So that's the same with wild animals. Uh-huh, exactly what Jade said. You have to respect their territories and their boundaries. You guys are so right. I've never thought about it that way. I guess it's true. If a stranger just came up to me and touched me, I would think it's so rude. Yeah, and imagine if that stranger was a lot bigger than you. Wouldn't you be scared or intimidated? Which is probably how the squirrel felt. That's why he tried to bite you. Only because he was scared. Oh, I can see that. I've never thought about it that way. And you guys are right. I should respect the animal's boundaries. This is their home and their territory. And I have to respect them. See, it looks like we can do this after all. We can teach Sunny and Violet how to camp. And we can teach them about the animals in the forest. Eh, see, I told you, it's not going to be that hard. Yeah, I guess you were right. Well, anyways, why don't we split up and figure out the food situation? Ooh, what's this? They look yummy. You guys, I found some wild berries over here. Uh -oh. Maybe we can dry some. I am starting to get hungry. Let's pick some berries and try some. Hmm. No, 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 no. Let's not pick any berries or put anything in your mouth that you are not aware of. We don't know the woods and the forest very well. Uh, we are best not to pick berries that we're not sure of. We're going to cook our own food. And maybe I'll go fishing for some fish. But let's definitely not eat wild berries that you find, okay? It's not safe. <laughs> not safe? Scary? I'm so glad that you're here, Jade. And thanks for stopping me just in time. Otherwise, I would have picked the berries because they look good and ate it already. Hey, what's this? <gasps> ah! Something's crawling! What was that? It's running, it's running too fast. Ah, careful, careful. Oh, what if it crawls on my leg? Ah! Oh no, my cell phone! I dropped my phone. Oh no. Oh, oh, my poor baby, are you okay? I need my 
phone to film the my life. Oh, my baby. Oh, my poor phone. I'm so sorry that I dropped you on the ground. We're good. We're good. It's not broken. Oh, that was a close call. I would have been so devastated if my phone broke. Gosh. <laughs> I know that wasn't supposed to be funny, but it was pretty funny. Yeah, did you see the way they jumped and just like ran? It was just a lizard, you guys. It's nothing. There's plenty of those in the forest. Yeah, anyways, let's get back to figuring out the food situation. I think we should split up. We can split into two groups and start making food or finding food because we need to eat soon. Yeah, okay, I agree. I'll go fishing, so hopefully we can catch some good fish and have some fish for dinner but just in case why don't you cook some sausages or prepare some marshmallows so that we can sit by the campfire later oh fishing but i wore socks so i don't think i'm gonna be able to go fishing because i hate it when my socks get wet so i will pass on the fishing well the boat is just right here and i need somebody to go with me who wants to go fishing with me it'll be an adventure there's a lot of fish in this lake, and I could teach one of you guys to learn how to fish. It'll be fun. I do it all the time with my dad. We go every summer, and it's quite nice and relaxing. Who wants to come? Come on, come. I'll go fishing with you, Jade. I think the Vi Hives are going to love that as a video. I don't think they're going to be able to catch anything, because Jade told me that even though she loves fishing, she's never caught anything. What? Then what are we gonna eat later? Oh no, sad emoji! We're gonna starve! Don't worry, I'll cook us some food in the kitchen. Remember, we have a kitchen. Oh yeah! It's a good thing that we have a kitchen in your camper car. We better make something, just in case. Alright, then it's settled. Violet and I are gonna go fishing. Yep, good luck! We're gonna head out. We'll be back with some fish. Let's go! Okay, bye guys! Good luck! Catch us a lot of fish! Yeah, good luck you guys! But just in case they come back empty-handed and they can't catch anything, we better make some food! Yep! I'm gonna go into the kitchen and maybe get some sausages ready and maybe cook some rice. Um, what else? We got some veggies too. I'll make us some vegetables. Oh, and I brought some marshmallows that we can roast over a nice hot campfire later. Ooh! Happy emoji! Sounds good! Oh, this is my first time sitting in a boat! This is so much fun, Jade! Thanks for inviting me to come along! Let me film the Vi Life fishing episode! Hi, you guys! Look what I'm doing right now! Yup, let's hopefully catch some fish! So tonight we're gonna make a campfire and then we can tell ghost stories or tell stories over a campfire, roast marshmallows, and also roast some sausages. So what we're gonna need is a campfire. Can you help me make a campfire please, honey? Make a campfire? Yeah, okay, I would love to. And now, how, how do you make a fire? I didn't bring anything to be able to make a fire with. Um, I would love to help you, but confused emoji. I don't really know how to make a campfire. If you teach me, then I would love to learn. Oh, this is really nice and relaxing. See, I told you so. Fishing is really nice and relaxing. Hmm, I can't see any of the fish. I guess we'll be here for a while. Okay, an episode of the Vi Hive. Uh, let's do an interview, Jade. How do you feel? How long does it normally take before we can catch a fish? And what's your secret? Um, uh, uh, I, I'm not sure. Okay, we have a lot of wood here. I've collected a lot of sticks. So all you have to do is do what I just showed you earlier. Take these sticks, rub it together really fast, and then suddenly there'll be like a little bit of spark, and then a fire will begin. Here, you can give it a try. Okay. Let me throw the line. Oh, let me make it farther. There. Sorry, Vi Hives, we haven't caught anything all day, but I still have hope. I think we could still do it. Jay just threw the fishing line further, so hopefully a fish will bait. Yeah, now we just have to wait some more. There is a lot of waiting when it comes to fishing. Relaxing, but a lot of waiting. Oh, my subscribers are asking me to show them a fish. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, I see something over there. You guys, it's a frog and a fish, and I think they're friends. That's so cute. Let me film this. I 
can do this. I can make a fire. All I have to do, Ruby says, is rub the wood together and sparks will fly and a fire will begin. Rub the wood. Where is the fire? A fish and a frog being friends. What an unlikely combination. So cool, you guys. And you guys get to see it on the Bi Life. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and stay tuned for the next episode because I'm going to show you a lot of cool fish uh, once I find them. Let me see if I see anything else. Whoa, Violet, careful. Try not to bend too far. The boat shakes and we don't want the boat to tip over. Oh, oh, I think I caught something. Oh, it's pulling. Oh, let me reel the fishing rod, reel it back. I could do this. I feel like this is a big one. We got a big fish here. Right, Ruby, I think I need help. I can't make a fire. Oh man, it looks like the fish got away. That happens sometimes when you go fishing. Sometimes the fish do get away. Uh oh. <sighs> I guess we'll just have to try again. Hopefully, we'll be able to catch something soon. Uh, angry emoji. Is everything okay, Sunny? Are you having problems? Yeah. I can't seem to do it, sad emoji. Oh, it's okay, let me show you. Okay, so you just take two sticks like this and I'll show you how to rub it together in order to make a fire. You have to rub it really fast and really hard. I know, it can be really tiring, but you can't stop. If you stop, the flames will go out. I want a better view, so I'm gonna stand up. Uh -oh. That way I can capture the lake more. Ooh, let me see if I can catch any fish because if I'm standing, I'll be able to see further. Oh, maybe I gotta bend over a little bit more. Oh, Violet, this is not a good idea. Can you sit down, please? Please don't stand on the boat. It makes it extra shaky. See, the sparks are getting stronger and you can see a little fire beginning. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. There. I've made a fire. Now I just have to make it even stronger. <sighs> Ta-da! There's the fire. I made a campfire for us for later. Wow, you did it. You did it, Ruby. That was awesome. You were rubbing the sticks together so fast that it created a fire. I've learned how to make a fire today. Yay, happy emoji. And then later we can roast marshmallows over a campfire. I've never done that before. Super happy emoji. Wait, let me just capture one more image. I think I see something over there. Violet, please sit down. The boat is rocking back and forth really hard. It's gonna tip over. I'm scared. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh yeah, it's really unstable. Ah, okay, okay, I'm gonna sit down. Ah! Oh no, careful. The boat is rocking back and forth. Oh, oh, I don't wanna fall over. Oh, oh, oh. I'm losing my balance. Oh my gosh. Ah. Oh no, Violet, you fell into the lake. Oh, Violet, are you okay? Can you swim? Oh, oh, you can swim. Come on, swim over here. Give me your hand and I'll pull you back into the boat. I can't believe you actually fell into the lake. Okay, here, here, give me your hand. I can't believe Violet actually fell into the lake. I was busy fishing, but then when I looked up, she was standing on the boat. I told her not to stand, but then it was too late. Note to self, when going fishing, don't stand on the boat. Falling into the lake must have been really scary, right Violet? A scary emoji? Yeah, the water was a lot colder than I thought it would be. Oh, I'm still cold right now. I still can't believe that even happened. Like, wow. <laughs> I've never heard of anybody going fishing and falling into the lake before. I guess you guys had quite the adventure this afternoon. I know, I know I'm not supposed to be laughing and it's not funny, but it is a little funny. I think your followers or your subscribers would have really liked to see that in person. I'm glad that your phone's okay too. Luckily, it fell in the boat and not with you into the lake. Hey, it's not funny. <laughs> Maybe a little funny? 
Alright, okay, maybe it is a little funny. And yeah, I was super lucky my phone didn't fall with me. <laughs> You're right, Ruby, it is pretty funny. I think you would have gotten more subscribers if you were able to capture that. Yeah, right? That's a good idea. Um, let's not. Uh, Sunny, please don't give her any wild ideas. Well, I'm just glad that we're all sitting here around a campfire and enjoying some time together. And nothing can go wrong from here. Did you guys feel that? Something's falling. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, I think it's snow, actually. Oh, no! Oh, yay! I love snow! <gasps> you guys, look! It's snowing! Happy emoji! Wait, what? Uh, I don't think that's something to be happy about, Sunny. It's snowing right now. On our first camping trip together. Yeah, looks like it really is snowing. <laughs> No, oh, no, this isn't good. It's snowing and Violet keeps sneezing. Violet, I hope you're not catching a cold because you also fell into the lake. It's a really good thing that I packed a jacket. I think we should all put on a jacket. Otherwise, we might all catch a cold. Violet's right, you guys. It's snowing now. We better all go inside and grab our jackets to put it on. Otherwise, we might all catch a cold. I can't believe I fell into the lake this afternoon. And now it's snowing on Sunny and I's first camping trip. This is a disaster. How? Huh? Why? I love snow. Isn't roasting marshmallows by the campfire just the best? Mm -hmm. I can't believe this is my first time trying roasted marshmallows. It's so good. Mm. Yum. I can eat a dozen of this, but probably not good for my diet. I hope I'm not getting sick. <laughs> Does it always snow when you guys go camping? <laughs> oh, it's freezing. Even though there's a campfire in front of me, I'm shivering from the cold. Maybe next time I won't wear a dress. Well, actually, this is the first time that I've camped in the snow. It's never snowed before. And yeah, next time you shouldn't wear a dress. I've never seen anyone go camping wearing a dress before. And you even fell in the lake this afternoon. That's probably why you're cold. Ooh, which one do I want to eat first? The marshmallow or the sausages? Uh, marshmallow, sausages. Hmm. Mm. Oh, whoa. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. This is so much fun, you guys. I've never cooked marshmallows and sausages over a campfire before. Am I doing this right, Ruby? Mm. Oh, these marshmallows are so good. Back to the sausages. funny watching you eat both of them at the same time like that. You must really like marshmallows and sausages, Ruby. Can you show me how to cook the sausages or the marshmallows, please, Ruby? Yeah, I love sausages and marshmallows. My mom said that when I was little and we used to go camping together as a family, I would eat all of the marshmallows and sausages all by myself. And yeah, sure, I can show you how to make them. So to cook the sausages over a campfire, you just have to put it over the fire like this. Try not to go too close, otherwise you might burn the sausages. And then make sure that you spin it around so that nothing burns and it gets cooked evenly. And you'll be able to know when the sausage is cooked because once it's cooked, the sausages will change color. See, the sausages look darker because they're cooked now. They're almost done. I followed your instructions and I made these sausages myself. It was so much fun. Mm. It tastes really good too. I think I made it just right. Mm, it's not burnt. I think I'm getting sick, you guys. Roasted marshmallows are so good, but they are a little harder to cook than the sausages. You don't want to put it too close to the fire, otherwise it'll burn and it'll be no good. And you can't cook it too long, otherwise it'll also burn. So, it's a lot faster to make, but it burns more easily. You guys, is it just me or is the fire going down? Ooh, it's so cold, you guys. And I think I'm coming down with something because I just keep sneezing. Can somebody please make the fire hotter? Maybe we need to, like, blow in more wood or something, right? 
Yeah, I think Violet's right. I think the fire is kind of going down. We do have more sticks or wood to throw into the fire, right? I remember collecting a lot this afternoon. Uh, yeah, we do. It's somewhere here. One moment, I'll go get it then. The fire's going down over time because there's no more wood for it to burn. And it's also snowing outside, so it's cold. Here, we'll just throw on more sticks and more wood. It's a good thing that we collected a lot of this wood and sticks in the afternoon before it snowed. Okay, let's throw them into the fire. Oh yeah, I totally see what you guys are talking about. The fire isn't burning as much anymore. We definitely need to throw in some more sticks and wood. I'll throw another one into the fire. See? The fire is already getting stronger. How is this, you guys? Is this good enough? Or do you guys want me to throw in more wood and sticks to make it even stronger? Maybe just a little bit more. A little stronger, please. Ooh, yikes. It looks like you're really starting to catch a cold. Okay, I'll make the fire even stronger. So that'll be warmer for you, Violet. Throw in another stick. There. See? It's super strong now. This is good enough, right? Yes, thanks, Ruby. This is perfect. Oh, it's so much warmer than earlier. Much better. Thanks, Ruby. Even though I'm a little warmer, I still feel like I'm coming down with a cold or something. And maybe that's because you fell in the lake this afternoon and got your hair and clothes all wet. But it's okay, it looks like your clothes are also starting to really dry. You'll start to feel really warm soon, especially now that the fire is burning a lot hotter. Does anyone want some more marshmallows? Ooh, yes please! How are you feeling now, Violet? Much better. I'm starting to really get a lot warmer. So you used to go camping with your family every summer, Ruby? That's so cool. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yep, my family's really into the great outdoors. We go camping every year. Ooh. Are you cold, Jade? You're only wearing shorts. Yeah, a little actually. I didn't know that it was going to snow today. Otherwise, I wouldn't have worn shorts. Mm, it is a little cold. That was how I found out that I got into Rainbow High. Talking over a campfire is so much fun. We've been talking for hours. It's nighttime now. The moon is out. Time sure flies when you're having fun. We've been sitting around the campfire for hours now. It's been so much fun talking about everything and anything. Time really does fly by when you're having fun. I can't believe it's nighttime already. I've had so much fun. Roasting marshmallows over a campfire, telling ghost stories, Sunny being scared of the ghost stories, and also learning more about you guys. It's been a lot of fun tonight. So much fun that I could literally do this all night. Happy emoji! <sighs> Even though I am a little tired though. Sleepy emoji. <sighs> tired emoji. No, I don't think you'll be able to stay up all night, Sunny. Okay, guys, as much fun as I've had tonight, I think we better call it a night and head to bed. <sighs> I agree with Jade. I think that sounds like a great idea. As much fun as I've had talking with you guys and roasting marshmallows, I can use a hot shower right now. We could still talk and stuff, but we could talk and stuff inside the camper car. Come on, you guys. Let's go inside, and then I'll take a hot shower, and then we can lie on the comfy bed and talk some more before we sleep. I'm having so much fun, you guys. I don't want the night to end, and that sounds like a great idea. Let's go inside, and then we can kind of have, like, a camper sleepover. Oh, that would be so much fun. Sleepover. Hmm, wait a minute. Are you guys going into the camper car? I thought you guys said that you guys wanted to camp outside. You were gonna sleep outside today. I call for shower first. Oh, 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 then I call for shower second. And then afterwards, we can have a pillow fight. Oh, you're on, Sunny. Challenge accepted. Hey, are you guys even listening to me right now? Hello, Sunny, Violet? What do you mean? I always win at pillow fights. No, you never win. I always win. Nuh-uh. Oh my gosh, those two are in their own little world. They are not listening to me at all. Hello, 
you guys. I don't think there's enough room in the camper car for all of us, you guys. The only reason this trip was going to work was because Sunny and Violet, you guys said that you were going to sleep outdoors. I don't think it's going to fit all of us indoors. Uh oh. Aw, sad emoji. It looks really cute inside. Maybe we can just all try to fit in, please? Ugh, that was not the original plan, but... I guess we can try. Okay, let's try to all squeeze into the camper. Yay! It'll be more fun! The more the merrier! Let's all go inside! Oh, sweet! Yes! Thanks, Ruby! You don't have to tell me twice. I've been dying to have a hot, warm shower. Mm. Race you inside! <laughs> you guys are so funny. You guys are like little kids or something. You didn't have to run inside. Jeez. Wait, what's happening? Are we all going inside? I don't know if this is a good idea. It's not a very big camper. Uh, Ruby? Yeah, I know. They were supposed to sleep outside, but what can you do? They really wanted to try to sleep inside with us. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna fit, but I guess we can try. Sorry, Sunny. My bad. Oh, there's no room for my hands. Oh. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. I need to get to the shower. Excuse me. <sighs> Finally, some fresh air. There wasn't any air in there. <sighs> it's much better with two people. As much as I like to sleep with you guys, I don't think we're going to be able to fit all of us inside the camper. We're going to have to figure out something. Two of us are going to have to sleep outside. Uh -oh. Yeah, I agree. We're not going to all fit. Oh, no. oh, so comfy. I can fall asleep right now. Oh no, Sunny. Don't fall asleep just yet. You know, now that I think of it, I don't think this camper is going to fit all of us. Since Sunny and I are already inside, we could sleep inside and you guys can sleep outside to um, watch the stars and enjoy the scenery. So, um, yeah, have fun! Uh, nice try, Violet. That wasn't the original plan or the original deal. You guys are supposed to be sleeping outside. Don't worry, you guys. I got an idea. I'm gonna go upstairs and check on the outdoor bed situation. It's covered in snow, but you know what? I can just like dust the snow off and make a bed up here for you guys. How is it up there, Ruby? Is there a lot of snow? Can we make it work? Yeah, I think we can totally make it work. I just have to dust off some snow. Give me one sec. And then Violet and Sunny can sleep under the moon and stars. Oh, wow. Look at the view from here. It's so pretty. I did say that I wanted to sleep outdoors and that I wanted to film a my life of me sleeping outdoors. But uh, maybe I changed my mind. Maybe I want to sleep inside for tonight. Oh, there's nothing to be scared about. And besides, didn't you promise all your subscribers that you were going to do a Vi Life and show them that you're sleeping outdoors? Oh, right. I did make that promise to my subscribers, didn't I? Oh, me and my big old mouth. I guess I have to keep my promise to my subscribers uh -oh. or they'll unsubscribe. No. Sunny, Violet, look, you guys can sleep under the stars tonight. Ooh. Oh, the view of the stars and moon is really pretty. We never get to see this when we're in the city. Ah, it's so nice out here. There are just so many stars. Oh, look at that one. That one's really big. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? There's a lot of stars when you go out of the city. Oh, I just love looking at all the stars. So, it's set out. You guys are sleeping outside then. Okay, yay! Happy emoji! Uh, okay, I guess I have to because I promised my subscribers. Ta-da! Look, you guys, I made you a tent. It's really spacious inside and really warm, and you guys can sleep inside and look at the stars tonight while uh, Ruby and I sleep in the camper. There, I'm done. I cleaned off all the snow. You guys can sleep in the tent together, or you guys can climb up here and sleep under the stars. <sighs> Might be a little cold, but it's okay if you're in a sleeping bag. The sleeping bag will keep you warm. There, I also made you guys a fire next to your tent to keep you warm. Okay, all clean. A nice warm bed. 
And you guys won't be cold because I made a really nice big fire here for you guys. You guys can sleep in the tent or you guys can sleep up there. You can choose so many options. Oh, and so warm. Yep, have fun you guys. <gasps> oh, it's really happening. Do you guys want to stay outside with us for a bit too? Yeah, do you guys really think we're ready to be out here by ourselves? Nah, you guys will be fine. It's so comfy. How is it up there, Ruby? Comfy? Literally the best. So comfy. You guys are going to have a lot of fun out here. Oh, it's really nice and warm in this tent. <gasps> Look at all of the stars. I can't believe you guys are going to leave us out here by ourselves. What if I see a bear? What if I see something? A ghost? I actually think that might help you gain more subscribers if you did see a bear or a ghost. <laughs> but don't worry, there are no ghosts and no bears out here. You'll have a lot of fun, trust me. And you can film the by life. Know what they say, careful what you wish for. Eee! A ghost? How scary! But exciting! I am excited to sleep outdoors though. Excited emoji! I've never slept in a tent before. I, I picked the tent. Oh, I can't wait to sleep in a tent tonight. Oh, Sunny, why are you so easy to convince? We're gonna be out here by ourselves, and this is our first time camping. Aren't you scared? Because I'm scared. Hmm, do I feel scared? Hmm, no, I don't feel scared. I think I'll be fun. Don't worry, Violet. We have each other. You can protect me, and I'll protect you. It'll be fun. We'll have, like, a outdoor Violet and Sunny sleepover. Outdoors. I don't know how you're gonna protect me from a bear or worse, a ghost. Well, worst comes to worst, at least we'll have each other and we can be scared together. Huh? Alright, well that settles it. Here's your sleeping bag, Sunny. This will keep you warm for tonight and um, you can sleep in the tent with this. Here you go. A sleeping bag? I've never slept in a sleeping bag before. Oh, and it's so nice and soft. It's really heavy, so I bet it's warm. Thanks, Jade. Well, have fun. Since I'm wearing shorts and all, it's too cold for me. So I'm going to sleep in the camper car. But don't worry. We'll leave the window open. So if you guys need anything, just scream and we'll be able to hear you guys. Oh, man. My legs are getting cold. <laughs> And Violet, here is your sleeping bag for tonight that you can use to sleep with. Um, thanks? It's a purple sleeping bag. Yeah, I guess it's destiny. Uh, I guess so. It does match my hair. I, I do like the color. Purple is my favorite color. Well then, let your color shine, girl. What are you waiting for? Have fun sleeping outside tonight and film the most fabulous Vi Life vlog that you've ever filmed. Okay, well, I will try my bestest. Thanks, Ruby. No worries. Have fun and don't let the bed bugs bite. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Bad joke. Bad joke. There are no bed bugs. Don't worry. <laughs> Ruby, you didn't have to scare them like that. Don't worry, guys. It's too cold for any bed bugs to survive. Uh, bed bugs? I don't like bugs. Uh, bugs? I'm scared. Scared emoji. Don't worry. There are no bugs. Maybe. There might be a bug or two, but don't worry. They're harmless. Oh, night, guys. <laughs> I can't believe they really left us like this. Don't worry, Violet. We have each other. Uh, yeah, I guess. Violet! Violet! Are you asleep yet? Oh, it's so spacious in here. There's so much room. Are you sure you don't want to sleep in the tent with me? There's enough space for the two of us. Do you want to come down and sleep in the tent with me? <sighs> I have no signal out here. I can't film the Vi life without signal. Wow, oh, look at all of the stars. It really is beautiful out here. Violet, are you still trying to find some signal so that you can film the Vi life? I'm sure your subscribers will want to see this view. Yeah, it really is like totally gorgeous up here. <sighs> But I can't find any signal, so I can't film the Vi Life. 
Although, what I can do is I can make a video and then I'll just post it later. Yes, that's what I'll do. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. You can just make a video and then you can edit it and post it later. I never knew that there were so many stars in the sky. It really is beautiful. Now I understand why people love camping. The scenery really takes your breath away. Hi, hi from the Vi Life. It's Violet here. And just as promised, I'm sleeping outside underneath the stars for you guys. Can you guys see? There's the stars, the moon, and I am not sleeping in a camper, but outdoors. Oh, I'm getting really sleepy. Are you getting really sleepy too, Violet? Oh, yeah, I'm getting really sleepy too. Oh, look, Violet, there's a bird by the campfire. The bird is so cute. Shh, so it doesn't fly away. Oh, the bird must be cold, so it's sitting by the fire. Hmm, I wonder where I've seen this bird from. Looks familiar. Hmm. Oh, I know where I've seen this bird from. This is the same bird that pooped on my hair earlier today. Hey! I remember you, buddy. Don't act cute with me. Look, look right here. You pooped on my hair. Ew, it still smells. Aw, oh, but the poor thing looks really cold right now. All right, tell you what. I'll forgive you for pooing in my hair this afternoon. Let's call a truce and let's be friends, okay? Don't poo on my hair in the future. And I'll let you sleep in my tent with me. That way you can stay warm. It's freezing out here with all the snow and stuff. If you stay out here, you might freeze to death. So you can come in my tent with me. Sunny, are you asleep already? How did you guys sleep last night? We had the best sleep in the camper? Yeah, it was such a good sleep. Mm. <sighs> good morning, Violet. Rise and shine. How was it? Did you have fun sleeping up there? How was your sleep? Was it good? <sighs> it was really good. The stars were so beautiful and it was surprisingly really warm in the sleeping bag. I was really surprised how good I slept. Oh. Uh, morning, you guys! I had the best sleep ever, and I had such a wonderful dream of us going on another camping trip next year. Oh. What's for breakfast? I'm coming down. Ooh, careful, careful. Gotta watch my step. Especially since I'm still wearing heels. I'm glad you guys had fun and that you guys had a good sleep. Uh... Sunny, what what is that? Oh, this is my friend, Bird. It's also the bird that pooped on my hair. But it's okay, we made up and now we're friends. I love camping. Press that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way when a video is released, you'll be the first to watch it. Watch more of my toy videos by going to the search button and pressing in Minky Toys and Dolls or just Minky Toys. Lots of fun doll videos for you here.